Hello creative people and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I will be showing you how to create this beautiful corset that a lot of you have seen me wear on Instagram and asked for. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and let's get started. You can get the pattern in the link in my description box below. Once you download it and print out all the pieces, you can glue them all together to a full pattern. And here are all of the pieces. What I did here is I just mark all of the pieces with numbers because it's easier to work with them that way. The first step, as always, is to place the pattern on the fabric, measure one centimeter for the sewing and cut out all of the pieces. The second step will be to clean the edges and I'm using an overlock sewing machine. If you don't have an overlock sewing machine, you can use a zigzag seam. This is only to make it uh, clean in the inside of the corset as well as in the outside because all the seams need to be nice. Um, then I just use one needle sewing stitch and I just um, connected all the pieces together to create the full corset. And here is just a speeded process. A heads up, a corset does contain an inner lining. I did not have a fabric for it, so I used my main fabric for the inner lining as well. So I created two exactly the same pieces. On my main piece, that is my corset, I actually added a boning, uh, and these plastic boning, honestly, I rather work with a thicker plastic boning and not this one that is that you can sew on because I feel it's too soft and I really want a corset to be stiff. So um, if there is any changes that I would like to do to this corset is to use a different plastic boning. This part here is optional. What I did here is I actually switched my thread from the matching tone in tone color to the light brown because I really want to give this like denim corset a little bit more of definition and I thought light stitching will actually give it and I really love the results. This part is also optional. What I did is I actually just created a little loop and I added that little ribbon to the top of the corset just to give it a little design because it just didn't want a clean corset. I want to have something a little extra. So you don't have to do this step, but I did. So <laughs> it's your choice. As you can see here, look what a little thread can actually give the look to this corset. I mean, I'm in love. Um, the second step here is to connect the inner lining together with the main fabric. And I would 100% recommend to use thinner for inner lining because it is an inner lining. But I didn't have that um, fabric, so I went with main fabric and the results were actually pretty good. Once you flip the corset inside out, I went with one needle stitch on the top and on the bottom as well, just to make it more stiff. And I also went through with just straight lines um, on the corset just to keep it together with the inner lining so it doesn't flap from the inside. And the last step will be to place the zipper on the back. Uh, I would recommend to use a zipper that has an opening on the lower part because it's much more easier to put a corset in. And 
And this is the finishing product. This is how the corset looks like. Um, I would only change the plastic boning inside. I am actually pretty happy with the inner lining that I used the same main fabric for it. But of course, if I had another smaller, thinner fabric, I would have definitely used that. Uh, for my body, I created this black corset um, that is the same pattern, but I just adjusted for my body measurements. And you can see the difference of how it fits. So be aware every time you're creating something that you should always adjust for your own measurements. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful and useful. And if you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you in my next video. See you till then. Hey, Noah.